Actually, we did uh, several stalks on some other springbok. They're uh, very wary, very fast little animals. This is uh, not as easy as, as it may look. Uh, trying to get up close to them is almost uh, a true challenge in its own right. Um, they've got incredible eyesight, incredible speed, and uh, are extremely uh, wary of the big predators that they deal with on a daily basis here, which uh, we're in an area where there's uh, lions. And uh, so we made several stalks. I even took a couple of shots, shot over one. Um, in a kind of a longer, longer shot situation. And uh, we tried this one out on the open plain. There was some small brush, which we uh, got in and, and just waited for uh, some to come near us within range, and this buck did, and uh, managed to get a good shot at him and get him down. So here we are, and uh, we've done our genetic testing, and uh, we've had a Good start on the hunting with Cam Safaris today, and uh, now Chris is on deck to see if we can't get another one of these lovely little spring bugs. We're going to do Good. the uh, DNA test on him as well. We did it on everything all the way up from the smallest things that we've gotten to the rhinos. So now it's this one's turn. And uh, let me get my rifle out of the way here. Still the same test for all of the antelopes, all of the animals. It's a blood swab. And uh, a couple of hair follicles from the animal. One of the things that's critical is to be sure and get some of the root follicles, so you want to get a good grip on the hair and pull the other way, look for the white tips. See if I can get in there a little deeper. There we go. Got some good white tips. Into the envelope. lick and stick and that's all there is to it. That'll go back to uh, make sure that this animal, the ones that he's related to in this area, got some of the DNA of these spring bucks into the database for future use and uh, testing and be able to do studies on these animals to preserve them for the future.